What's going on everybody, it's your boy it's B is the truck star and welcome back to another dance hall video tutorial. Another one here we are going to go over creating snare rolls, both the beginner way and the advanced way, you see me? So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the rhythm here, name Flankers, me and Trap Soul, I just finished Master the Rhythm, so, more for create a snare roll. Well, after I'm done master, I kind of realize hey, we need some transition between them things, isn't me? So, I said, all right, I'ma just use a snare roll instead of using an actual transition, which we might use it to them in combination. That would be more of the advanced way, but we shall see. So, I'll listen and see what we can add as far as a snare roll transition to this beat. Is my say? So we can add just like t t t t t Simple. That are the simple way. Like literally, I have that in my head. That's what I would add. Boom. So the first thing and the most important thing is finding the right sneer. So we're going to the Yard Vibes kit and we'll go through the bonus sneers them, right? So you have portion to different sneer. Could use this, but Two common, don't want to do that. This is one of my favorite for snare rolls, the two of them. This one's cool, but not so much. The two of them and the Lex Luger. Also, the Cardiac and Lex Luger. So then may I want to say my three favorite. The Cardiac by Lex, the, the two of them, and the, the, um, and the Luger. So we'll go with the two of them for start. Right, boom. Firstly, as you can see, small snare, um, small, very choppy. So what we go do is we go clip it a little bit more. Kind of fall in love with hard clipping. Cool. Boom. Next thing we need to do, I go put this on the mixer in track 17. But I thought I'm just link it to track 17 because we have to go mix it anyway. I'm gonna load up the Fab Filter Pro Q3. And there's a preset I have in here called Snare, Heavy Trap Snare Expose Mids. And what that do is it get rid of all of the bass and exports the mid range, which is what I'm like. So let's go into the piano roll now. Let me say, the snare roll I'm going to do is turn them, turn them, turn them, turn And then a snare roll slide, isn't it? Very, very simple. So, quick way we can do that. C here so if we go and shorten this up we go turn up top hold on yep so here 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 and then the steer roll here isn't me that's the Typical snare roll what you might hear. So, what we can do, because we can do a lot, there's nothing wrong with this. So, what me typically do with my snare roll them is my map them to the key or the scale what I'm in. Right? So, we have this would be the closest note to something what in the, in the scale. So, what we do is we do go raise this up to a note, raise this up to a note. And then raise this up also to a note. So now we're off. You see me? That's somewhat advanced. Yeah. Easier way if you do that. Left them which part them there. Go in our controls, go find pitch, and just raise the pitch. You get the same effect, isn't it? So, <clears throat> we don't do that. So, we're gonna go here and we're gonna make them a drop down. No, we're not gonna keep all of them. There's too much notes out there, so let's get rid of that. Right? And yeah, that's a very simple sneer rule, right? So, what am I gonna do for video for every one of them I wanna make? 
we are going to just export it as a MIDI. Fuck it. So we'll go and go to desktop and let's export this as a MIDI. So 100 BPM. And we'll just type roll underscore one. Boom. So that's one. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to type free sneer roll pack. Um, boom. I put rule, but we fix it. So that's one, right? That's a easy sneer roll for do. Boom. Let's get rid of that. Let's go back to here and recreate another sneer roll. Now this, we are going to go half-beat with it. So we'll start half-beat, finish on beat. Another simple sneer roll, but let me say we're off beat because it starts off beat. So now let's take these sneer rolls and start go advance with them. Cool. Panning, we can go from left to right. Yeah, or we can go. Single note left, single note right, back to the center, left, right, back to the center, and then wipe across at the end. You see me? We can also go pitch. So we can go fully from a high pitch sneer. You see me? Or we can go halfway up high and then halfway up low. It's like a lot of options you have, you see me, when you come on to, you know, doing, doing stuff like this. So, let's export this again. Oh, go. Roll 2. 100 BPM. Now, the BPM, yes, it matters, you see me? Um, not so much matters as far as if you load this in a 80 BPM rhythm, it's not going to work. It's not going to work, but it might sound different from a feeling perspective because 80 BPM is slower, isn't me? But trust me, you can use them in a any rhythm where you want. So, that's two, right? Let's go and do another one. You can do snare rolls or create them from a lot of different stuff. So, it's not a situation where you have to do one thing or the other to create a snare roll. You can create snare rolls a multitude of different ways. So, you can go like this. Boom, 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 boom. That's a snare roll. It's just a super simple snare roll. If you make it a little bit not so much simple, you can just do creative stuff with it. So we can change the grid to, let's say, third notes. And we'll go like... Lot of stuff we can do. We can go and expand upon that. So now we have this in a whole note. I'm not whole note, whole um we have it in a line, we have it in a third note time. We can then start chop up some of these notes. So let's say them I was whole, right? So we have we can chop up some of the notes. So if we chop up this, we can do something like this. And do the same exact thing here. We 
can also add notes in between and bring them up. You see me? You can drop down velocity and notes. It's like a lot of stuff. You just it's just trial and error. It's no right, it's no wrong, you just a try shit, isn't it? Put one here. Make that fade out. Chop this up, make it come up. And then what we can do, let me say, we play with the pitch. So, and do that. This last note, and we can let this be the last note and just drop the pitch. Let's delete this, put this here. A lot of shit you can do, a lot. It means you don't have to just conscribe. And we don't have to make the pitch change. We can even just set the pitch to one consistent pitch. You me? Can do this, can do this. You me? And then we can take it a step further. When we do stuff like that at the end, we can just go one left, one right, one left, one right. Simple stuff like that, isn't it? It's just you being creative and you know do what you want to do. No, yeah, there are even more possibilities as shit we can do with snares. We can do art panning and all type of crazy stuff we can do. You know, like flangers and all kinds of other stuff we want to to the snares. But that's up to you, isn't it? It's not something you have to do. Every rhythm don't need a snare roll. You know, it just sound better when them have it, it's me. It's just, that's the way of life, dog. So, now we have a sneer roll in that already, man. Let's go um, turn on the master, listen to it, and, you know, get the, out of here. Until next time, it's your boy, it's me, it's the track star. Peace. <laughs>